So when it comes to the specs here on the Samsung Galaxy Note uh, 4, we have a Quad HD display with over 500 ppi of pixel density, uh, 5.7 inch screen size. We have a 3.7 megapixel front facing camera, wide angle lenses. Uh, we have a 16 megapixel rear camera that can shoot video in the 4K resolution. And uh, we also get the flash and the heart rate monitor on the back. Uh, as far as the processor, we're looking at a 2.7 gigahertz quad core processor, three gig of RAM. As far as the battery, 3,220 milliamp battery. And as far as uh, the operating system, Android KitKat latest version is going to be upgraded later to uh, Android 5 Lollipop. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about the uh, design. As you guys can see, they totally changed the design here for this uh, metalized uh, finish all the way around the phone. Uh, the bottoms also change. They totally look uh, different and better, more improved. Uh, in comparison to the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note uh, 3. Uh, also, uh, as you guys can see, there is some uh, shape uh, on all four corners. Uh, here's the Samsung Galaxy Note uh, 3, just to give you guys an idea in terms of the bottoms. They look different now. As well as uh, the rear camera. Also here, so looking at the bottom of the phone, as you guys can see, it also looks uh, different. Uh, so anyway, so there are some uh, bumps right here on all four corners. And uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look here at the internals of the phone. As you guys can see, the battery is also different. Here's the access to the uh, SIM card. Here's the access to the micro SD card. Uh, the phone supports uh, up to 64 gigabyte and it comes with 32 GB of uh, internal storage. Here's the access to the speaker grill. So why don't we go ahead and start with some uh, benchmarking scores and uh, take a look at the, pa the performance of this phone. All right guys, uh, here are the results for the uh, Quadrant score or Quadrant program. We get uh, 22,587 points. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the scores on the Note uh, 3 just to show you guys a comparison. All right, here are the scores on the Samsung Galaxy Note uh, 2. 22,346 points versus 22,587 points. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interface of the phone. Uh, this is the main screen. Here's the access to the uh, weather widget. If we swipe from the left to the right, we get access right here to the Flipboard application. Of course, you can go ahead and customize this uh, depending on your choice. Uh, back to the main screen. Now going to the right, we get another screen. Here's another screen. And uh, on top, we see the application for the uh, S Health. We also get a couple of other applications right here. Here's another uh, screen. And here's one more screen. Now let's uh, take a look at the, uh, when we swipe down right here, we get access to the quick settings. Of course, you can go ahead and customize this by clicking right there on that pen. And if you want to get access to the main settings, we can click right there. And you can also click right here to edit the quick settings. Uh, looking at the uh, app driver, this is how it looks like. As you guys can see, the phone moves uh, super, super quick. If we click right there in the corner, you get option to edit. Also, you can create a folder. You can uh, change the order. Uh, downloaded apps, uninstall apps, disable apps, hide the apps, and help. Uh, if we hard press right here, this is going to show you all the different screens and this is going to give you choices at the bottom for wallpaper, widgets, home screen widgets. And uh, if we are in the app drawer and we hard press one of the icons, that's going to give you the choice uh, to move it to a different screen.
So we're taking a look at Google, Google Chrome right now. Let's go ahead and do a search here. And let's go ahead and use the voice. CNN.com. As you guys can see, it recognizes uh, the voice search. Uh, very quick, easy, no problem at all. Uh, let's go ahead and open an article here. And let's go ahead and uh, open a different page. Yahoo.com and there is a Yahoo and let's uh, go ahead and test here the uh, zoom in and zoom out uh, option so zoom in and zoom out very very responsive and uh, let's uh, zoom in and take a look at the text uh, amazing clarity super super clear letters because of the quad HD display and let's take a look now at the stock browser uh, why don't we go ahead and take a look here at some of the functionality of the S Pen since this is one of the main features of the uh, Note uh, line so the first one right here is the action memo and when we click right there it's going to give you access to uh, take some notes uh, write something for example let's go ahead and write a phone number here um, This is just a made up number. And you're gonna click right here, and that's gonna give you access to attach this phone number to your contacts. Uh, you can make a phone call. Uh, you can go ahead and send an email. You can go ahead and browser the information. You can go ahead and map the information or start a new task. Uh, so this is uh, one of one of the uh, uh, functionalities of the S Pen. Let's uh, take a look and see what else we have here. The next one is a uh, Smart Select. So if we click right there, we can go ahead, go ahead and select a portion of the screen, and we can go ahead and now download that to our gallery. Uh, as you guys can see, you can save it to the scrapbook. You can go ahead and sh uh, share that uh, via email or posted on some of the social medias and uh, let's uh, take a look at the next one now the next one is a uh, image clip so if we click right there uh, you can go ahead and uh, select an image and same thing you can go ahead and change the shape right here And then we can go ahead and uh, same thing, share this uh, by uh, email or add it to one of the uh, social medias. And let's take a look at the other one now. Uh, the last one is a screen write. So if we're looking at this page right now and we want to go ahead and send this to somebody and add some note, uh, we can write something here. Uh, before that, you guys can go ahead and change the thickness of the pen, the color. Uh, so we have orange. Let's go ahead and uh, make it a little thicker. And uh, just uh, write something here. And then from this point, you can go ahead and share that. Same thing, post it on one of the social medias or share by email or whatever. Take a look at the camera interface. Let's go ahead and take a look at the front-facing camera features. When we access the front-facing camera and we click on mode right here, you get access to selfie, white selfie, and you can download more. If we click on selfie, uh, you can go ahead and place your finger on the heart rate monitor to take uh, pictures. As you guys can see, we took a picture by pressing just the heart rate monitor. The next uh, selfie option, guys, uh, is a white selfie. And as you guys can see, there's a little square right there on the corner. And basically, you're going to press right here the camera button. And it tells, it tells you right there, swivel your phone slowly to the left. So you're going to start moving the phone to the left, then to the right. And then at some point, uh, you're going to click right here. And it's going to start processing the picture 
So it's supposed to give you a wider angle, a wider view for the selfie. All right, guys, so let's take a look here at the setting. When we click right here, we're gonna get access to this bar. You get access to the flash timer. You get access to some uh, filters, uh, picture size, and the top one is gonna take you to all the different settings. Uh, I leave all these in the auto mode, but you can go ahead and change these, adjust it to whatever you want. Uh, as you guys can see, you get access to the exposure, ISO, black and white, um, HDR, you can tap to take pictures, uh, video size, uh, you can go all the way up to 4K, uh, 2560 by 1440, 1920 by 1080. Uh, the next one is a recording mode, you can do normal, uh, limit the size for MMS, slow motion, you get three different speeds. Uh, fast motion also gives you uh, three different speeds. And then you get the smooth motion, which is uh, 60 frames per second. You get the video stabilization, location, the grid lines, the voice control, the shutter sound. This is not available on the Note uh, 3. So on the Note 4, you can turn that off. So when you take pictures, there is no sound. You can review the picture, reset the settings. So you can say, for example, cheese. And as you guys can see, that's when I take a picture. And let me show you now the rear uh, camera selfie option. So these are the modes, and as you guys can see, uh, before we get there, let me show you here the dual camera. This is a really cool feature. Uh, you can go ahead and record with uh, both cameras at the same time, uh, rear and front facing camera, and you can go ahead and change here the look of the uh, uh, other camera. And as you guys can see, I can go ahead and resize that. Uh, you can change it here you can even split uh, both cameras in half so that's as far as uh, the uh, dual cameras uh, here's the uh, rear cam selfie and uh, basically guys uh, you can go ahead and adjust this uh, square right here and this is going to be the area where the rear camera is going to focus uh, once uh, you're facing the rear camera it's going to beep a couple of times and then it's gonna take a picture. So that's a rear selfie mode. Here's a quick look guys at the uh, gallery of the phone. Uh, if you click right there, you're gonna get access to all these, these uh, different uh, modes as far as uh, how to access the gallery. And uh, one cool thing about this phone is that it lets you create movies. And uh, here's an example of this uh, quick movie that I created. show you guys uh, this other one quick now I chose to do it black and white uh, you can do it in color and uh, here are a couple of uh, picture samples guys are uh, taken with the rear camera in the 16 megapixel resolution super super clear very good quality uh, so if you tap on the picture you get access to share you get access back to the camera you can delete and then you get access right here to edit you can do screen write uh, you're gonna be, uh, be using the uh, S Pen to uh, write on the screen if you click on edit uh, this is gonna bring up here uh, different menus as far as uh, editing the picture under adjustment, you can do rotate, crop, resize. Under tone, you can go ahead and change here the color by just uh, swiping your finger across the, the uh, screen. You can change the temperature. You can do the blue color, the brightness, the contrast, uh, red, green. Uh, the next one, it's uh, effects. Uh, under effects, uh, we get all these uh, different cool effects. Uh, the next one is a portrait. This is uh, mostly for uh, uh, face uh, options. You can go ahead and remove the red eye, um, do the airbrush, couple of options, mainly for uh, picture showing faces. Uh, the next one is a decoration. You can do stickers, stamps, 
a label, you can create text, add text to your pictures, you can add frames. And uh, you can do drawing. So that's as far as the uh, effects and filters. Uh, once you want to access a picture and edit the picture. Uh, just to show you guys a quick here, if we go ahead and select, uh, for example, multiple pictures here, and we click right there, this is going to bring the studio option, and right here you can click on Video Clip Studio. This is the software that you're going to use to create movies, like the ones I show you. Uh, this is composing the movie right now. Uh, creating the storyline and then uh, here's a quick preview you can go ahead and uh, change the, the color or the theme right here at the bottom if we click right there you can go ahead and select the length of the video you can do short medium or long so if we do long uh, this is going to give you the option now if we click right here to save it saving high resolution medium or low resolution so this is uh, how do you create uh, movies here with a Note 4 guys so here's a quick demonstration of the graphics performance and also pay attention to the volume the speaker gets uh, really loud Guys, another cool thing of the S Pen is uh, the Air View uh, op uh, option or feature. It's going to let you preview pictures or videos from the gallery without even touching the screen. So, for example, if I hover over the pen, it's going to pop up right there this uh, little preview to show you what that video is about. And then from this point, you can go ahead and share it or you can go ahead and delete it. Uh, same thing right there without touching the screen. It's going to show me a little uh, zoom of that picture. I can go ahead and do screen write, I can go ahead and do edit, I can share or I can delete. So if I also access this video right here and start playing the video. So that's uh, the air view feature with the S Pen. Another cool feature guys uh, is a multi-window feature. Let's go ahead and access here two applications. Uh, here's uh, Maps and uh, let's open YouTube at the same time. Uh, as you guys can see I have these uh, two windows uh, here right now. I can go ahead and move this uh, around the screen. I can go ahead and uh, go back and expand it to full size. I can go ahead and close it. I can go ahead and uh, collapse and I can go ahead and collapse uh, the maps too. And now we have these uh, two little bubbles that you can go ahead and move around the screen. Uh, let's go ahead and open it. And uh, here's a look at the map. And uh, let's go ahead and look at satellite mode. In this, in the, at the same time, I can go ahead and look at the app drawer. And uh, that window is gonna stay there on top. I can go back home. And uh, like I said, I can go ahead and also resize that. And if I go ahead and do this, and do this, now we're going to split the screen in two. And you're going to be able to watch uh, YouTube here, half screen, and the maps. Uh, of course, you can go ahead and resize this here, or go here. Or go halfway. So that's how the multi feature, multi window feature. What's the population of the United States? The 
population of United States of America was 316.1 million in 2013. Show me pictures of the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Pictures of a Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Navigate to McDonald's. Touch the one you want. Head west on Comstock Avenue toward South 36th Street. And guys, another cool thing that I wanted to show you is the S-Health application, as you guys can see right here. And this is tracking how many steps uh, I take every day. It shows you how many calories and all that. So if we click right there, uh, this one I show you right here how many steps I have taken. I'm actually far from reaching to my goal today. My goal is uh, 10,000 steps. It also shows you the distance right here, the calories that I that I burned today. As a matter of fact, I wasn't using this phone today, so that's why it's not showing too many steps. Uh, if we go back here, you can go to the main screen or you can go ahead and do heart rate, which is what I want to show you guys. Uh, that's one of the cool features here with the heart rate monitor. We're going to place the finger right there. And that's going to measure the heart rate. Uh, I should be between 60 and 70 to be normal. So it looks like I'm a little too high right now. So that's the S Health application. Another cool thing that the phone offers, guys, is the IR Blaster uh, right there. This is a really, really cool feature. Uh, you can go ahead and control your uh, cable box, your TV, and uh, electronics in general. And there is the uh, one-handed operation, guys. As you guys can see, the keyboard now it's at smaller. Uh, you can move it to the to the right or to the left. Uh, same thing here with the dialer. There you have it, guys. Uh, that was the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Uh, in my opinion, probably the best phone available right now when it comes to productivity. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.